Message 5:40 a.m. I wanted to uh, give you uh, on the on on the phone here my words, and that's about um, the uh, story of the Ganavita. Anyway, I'll just tell I'll just tell it to you, and then you can uh, listen to it. And tell me what you think. This is the story of the Ganavita. He came to us to tell us three things: the good message. The power, the peace. One, on this planet, all living things have the same mother. She is the earth. The same father, which is the source energy of all creation that makes us all brothers and sisters. We shall survive and coexist as such. Two, the power is in our own minds, where a piece of the source energy of creation has been placed that gives us our power. Three, the peace, which is the Nyanrit Roa, the great peace, will provide we shall survive and coexist with each other and all nature perpetually forever. In the Mohawk creation story, we came from the sky world, which passes this world on a long cycle. On one of the passings, a beautiful woman with child was placed here on the earth when it was covered in water. Why were we placed here? At the last passing, the Ganorita came to this earth to carry out a mission. He brought the Dianorit Goa, the Great Peace, and formed the first true democracy and unified the people. It was based on Gazasnoksara Goa Zauyer, the Great Natural Power. Europa is the unification of the Iroquois. The Rubina Suna Umwe, symbolically, are the people who made the longhouse. The longhouse is all of Turtle Island. The sky is the roof, the ground is the floor, and the walls are from east to west, pole to pole. The great peace is for the whole world. The first to accept the Dianagate Goa was the Manyabehaga, the Mohawk, then the Oneida, Onondaga, Keuka. The last to join were the Seneca. The Ganawida and the Rodina Sumi waited on the plains overlooking Niagara for the Seneca's response, who were not sure whether to join. The Ganawida said, If tomorrow there are two suns in the sky, will you then join? The Seneca agreed to join if such would happen. The next day, there were two suns in the sky the Seneca became the fifth nation to join the Europa. The Ganawida then gave us an in-depth astronomy lesson about our binary twin solar system. The, the sun was in the sky for a few days. The Ganawida brought the people together and told them about the serpent prophecy. There will come a time in the future when the Obadmiwe, the original people placed on Turtle Island by creation, are befriended by a white serpent. At first, it would be good for both. But seven generations after contact, the white serpent would have the Obadmiwe squeezed so tight they could hardly breathe. Then a red serpent appeared from the north and started startled the white serpent momentarily, dropped the Obahoe to the ground, who then crawled like babies to the hilly country to heal. The red serpent and white serpent will start a war between each other and begin destroying Mother Earth. The birds will fall from the sky. The fish will turn on their bellies in the water. All the elm trees will die, and the air will burn the eyes of man. Then the red and white serpent would be at a standstill for a while, not knowing what to do. Then a black serpent would come from the south. He would control the other two serpents. They would invade and destroy one country after another throughout the world, always planning who would be their next victim. Then as the black serpent was looking for the next victim, then, this is part two, 
Then the red and white serpents would be at a standstill for a while, not knowing what to do. Then a black serpent would come from the south. He would control the other two serpents. They would invade and destroy one country after another throughout the world, always planning who would be their next victim. Then as the black serpent was looking for the next victim, he would see only the Owahua in the hills healing. He said, I have no fight with them. Then a bright light, many times brighter than the sun, will come from the east. The black serpent will be fearful and swim south, never to be seen again by the Owahua. The red serpent will see the light and will be fearful and crawl north, leaving a snaily trail behind it, never again to be seen by the Owahua. Part of the tail of the white serpent will break off and crawl to the hilly country to heal with the Owahua. The rest of the white serpent will make a feeble attempt to swim toward the light. The light shall be the return of the sky world. This will be the time the peace shall reign over the entire earth and a great time to be alive. When we got into when he got into his stone canoe and flew back to the sky world, he said he will return when the sky world returns. He was talking to our generation and we should all take heed of what he said then. We all know about this phenomena in different ways. We are supposed to live in harmony with nature and to survive with each other as brothers and sisters on our Mother Earth. We are to remain connected to our Mother as she will be going through some changes and so will we. Keep your mind strong on the Great Peace and stay on the path. Everything that was ever created by man started as a thought in one mind. Thoughts turn into memories and memory is DNA. That is why we all have a unique code. Thoughts only come from two sources, old memories and inspiration from creation. When we use our memory, we will remember right back to the first memory and everything in between. Then we will be ready for the inspiration and evolve as a species. There will come a time when everybody will remember how to use their memory again. They will remember everything from every past life they have ever had. We will then live in peace forever. The evil place here is still here. We are part of the universe. We are to heal this wound in our collective conscious so we can evolve through love and to be fear behind us forever. Love starts between a mother and child. That is why the Council of Women are responsible for the children and the land and life they bring upon them. Our local community is the most important relationship for the decision-making process. The corporations polluting the environment violate the universal law of nature. Part 3. In 1779, the American Revolution was created by the British Crown to divide and conquer us, the Rodina Sumuwe, Europa. Battles were staged between British business interests to falsely portray the illusion of freedom amongst their settler colonists. In 1779, American General Sullivan, under the direction of George Washington, amassed the largest patriot army of 38,800 men to carry out their true intentions. Sullivan marched on Onondaga, the home of the Tree of Peace, and for one year destroyed everything he could. Washington ordered Sullivan to force the Europa to move west to the Mississippi River. If they refuse, they are to annihilate them. Sullivan carried out the scorched earth policy burning all of the cornfields, orchards, longhouses, and mass murdered the people. Some survived. During this time, the British relaxed at Quebec City. <clears throat> a few years later, they placed a false border right through the center of Iroquois land. They called one side Canada, the other the United States. We noticed then that the same families controlled the economy 
of both sides of the fake border through their banking and free market enterprises. Hollywood creates and rewrites history. It is owned by these same families. Their films reveal the end of the world scenarios where the powers that be do not tell anyone of the impending disaster they are engineering until just days before it is about to happen. The plots are all the same, cataclysmic events that destroy the world. They never tell you what is causing these events. They are now fearing for their own coming end. The sky world returning will end the evil power structures that have destroyed everything. When the second sun appears in the sky, the great peace will return. The serpents will never be seen by the people again. We will evolve as a species through the power of love when we eliminate fear in each of our own minds. We can reconnect to the true power of creation itself. And it will watch our things, thoughts, our things. Unity, strength, peace. To replay this message, press 1.